इस ए एन एन न्यूज ब्रीफ गुड आफ्टरनून आई एम लूसी अडे The National Primary Health Care Development Agency NPHCDA says nearly 4700 persons are now fully vaccinated with the second dose of AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine as second phase of the vaccination program begins. NPHCDA Executive Director Dr. Faiza Shuaib says nearly 2 million persons have taken the first doses of the jab. He advised all Nigerians who have received their first dose to check their vaccination cards for the date of their second dose and ensure they receive it to gain full protection against COVID-19. Meanwhile, the federal government says it is taking significant precautions to protect Nigerians against the Indian variant of COVID-19. Flights from India and other high-risk countries including Turkey and Brazil have been barred from entering Nigeria. Authorities have advised continuous observation of public health or non-pharmaceutical measures in place to curb transmission of COVID-19. South Africa has introduced drive-through vaccination centers in a bid to step up coronavirus inoculations in the country. People now only have to book a slot online or over the phone and then drive in to be vaccinated. The country recently expanded the, pro the campaign to cover persons 60 years and older after initially vaccinating health workers. South Africa is the hardest hit country in Africa. Authorities are seeking to reopen the economy. The country has reported 1 and a half million cases of the coronavirus and more than 55,000 deaths. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the facts behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Mali's detained president and prime minister have officially resigned. Interim president Bandao and prime minister Mokhtar Wen have been held since Monday at a military camp outside the capital Bamako. The officer who led last year's coup to become vice president of an interim government, Colonel Asimi Goita, has seized power. He accused interim president and prime minister of failing in their duties and seeking to sabotage the country's transition. West African mediators visited Mali on Tuesday and met with the senior military figures who carried out this country's second coup in less than a year. The ECOWAS team, led by Nigerian former president Goodluck Jonathan, is hoping to secure a smooth transition of power to civilian government nearly uh, early next year. The UN Security Council is discussing the political crisis today. That is ANN News Brief at 4. Join us again at 5 for our full newscast. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I am Lucy Adeyemi.